Namaste. This is Steph, and I am very honored to be here with you today and guide you through a yoga nidra practice that will encompass the theme of how yoga nidra is bliss for your brain. Practicing this ancient and beautiful practice can be compared to having a hygiene practice for your central nervous system. Perhaps even think of practicing yoga nidra as lifting weights for your brain. It is so essential for all humans to take care of their mind, soul, and body. Yoga nidra is a practice that fosters that mind, soul, and body connection. This nidra is designed for you to tap into what makes you feel bliss. What gives you bliss? We often hear the question, what brings you happiness? But I tend to really love to hear what makes people feel bliss. Settling in now for the practice with lying down. Be sure that your body is completely comfortable and at ease. Adjusting the head, neck, and shoulders, pelvis, hips, so that you can become effortless in the physical body. Perhaps adjusting any props or blankets for comfort, maybe using an eye pillow. Could you get 5%, maybe even 10% more comfortable? We begin with a sankalpa. When our minds are relaxed, we are open to suggestion. The sankalpa is a short, positive statement in the present moment, and we state it three times to ourselves with awareness, feeling, and passion. The wording must be clear. For example, I am compassionate and resilient, and I set clear boundaries for myself. Search your soul and mind and think of a sankalpa that you would like to manifest. I'll give you time. Once you think of a sankalpa for your practice, there is no need to change it. You have planted a seed in the subconscious mind. Now say your sankalpa three times silently to yourself. Begin to allow your attention now to float through your body following the guidance of my voice. Imagine your attention fluidly moving from one point to the next, creating a stream of awareness flowing through your body. As attention moves, the body remains in stillness, welcoming sensations just as they are without any needing to change them or make anything different. Starting with your mouth. Feeling sensation within your mouth. The roof of your mouth. The back of your mouth. The tip of your tongue the root of your tongue, inner right cheek, inner left cheek, upper gums and teeth, lower gums and teeth, the space between your upper and lower teeth, 
upper lip, lower lip, space between the lips, the tip of your nose, inside the right nostril, inside the left nostril. the softness of your cheeks, the right eye, eyelid, temple, eyebrow, the space between your eyebrows, the left eye, eyelid, temple, eyebrow, sensations of both of the eyes. Is there any residual tension in the eyes, eyebrows, forehead? Your ears, right ear, the folds and valleys of the outer ear, the touch of air on the earlobe, the ear canal, deep inside the inner ear. Left ear, the folds and valleys of the outer ear, the touch of air on the earlobe. The ear canal, deep inside the inner ear. The scalp and hair the top of the head, back of the head, the whole face and head along with the neck and throat. Right collarbone, upper arm, elbow, lower arm, wrist, center, of the palm, all the tips of your fingers, the space around the fingers. Give time for attention to come back to the base of your neck. Left collarbone, upper arm, elbow, lower arm wrist, center of the palm, all of the tips of the fingers, the space around the fingers. Give time for attention to come back to the base of your neck, front of the chest, the ribs, navel, lower belly, sensation of the entire pelvic bowl, sensing the fluid movement of the breath in the whole torso. Feel the sensation in your right hip, thigh, knee, lower leg. Feel your foot all of the tips of your toes, the space around your toes. The left hip, thigh, knee, lower leg. Feel your foot, all of the tips of your toes the space around your toes, the whole body now. Bring attention and awareness to your entire body, left and right, front and back, the whole body a unified field of sensation, awareness throughout the whole body.
awareness and attunement to your breath. Just letting your breath naturally flow and hopefully feeling dialed in and comfortable to continue with going deeper into the practice with now listening for the following blissful visualizations. Standing in front of an incredible waterfall. Watching the sunrise over the ocean. Driving with your favorite song blasting. The smell of fresh sheets hanging on a line. Gazing at the stars on a perfect summer night. Watching the sunrise over the ocean. Rain falling gently on your bedroom window. Your favorite person's laugh. The feeling of your feet in the sand at the beach. The warmth of your favorite person's hug. The feeling of opening a new book. The smell of your favorite meal cooking. walking in the forest. Where can you picture yourself when you feel like you are living your bliss? Where does your heart feel most content? When do you know you are safe? What does safety feel like for you? What simple act leaves you with bliss? What part of nature aligns with your bliss. Who adds to your bliss? Are you willing to discover something new that makes you feel bliss? Are you willing to jump more into your own bliss? Fully and wholly, the universe will catch you. The universe will catch you. Repeat your Sankalpa one more time to yourself 
this sankalpa, this intention, your heart's desire, your sacred vow is planted deep into your heart space and it will help you with living in your bliss. Take a deep breath in through your nose, a long exhale out through your mouth. One more time, deep breath in. Begin to sense the earth beneath your body and the room around you. Start to awaken your body slowly, nodding the head, perhaps rotating your ankles in circular motions, and then your wrists and hands, rotating them as well in circular motions. Take your time here and bask for a minute or two longer if possible, basking in these feelings of bliss and peace. I encourage you sometime soon after this practice to take a few moments and write down a bliss list. A bliss list is exactly how it sounds a list of things that makes you feel bliss. You are already tapped into this after this practice, so just write it down as a stream of consciousness without thinking about it too much. This idea comes from Dr. Catherine O'Brien when I studied her course entitled Sustainable Happiness, and it's a concept that has stuck with me over the last decade. Put your bliss list somewhere you can see it regularly. I would love to hear if you do this and would love to hear how this experience goes for you of writing your own bliss list. Do you notice any patterns in the bliss list? Do you see that your list has way more non-materialistic items than materialistic? I would love to hear from you. Thank you for taking time today for this Bliss for Your Brain Yoga Nidra practice. It was an honor to hold space for you. And thank you for taking time to go inward to invite more rest into your life. Remember, every time you practice, you are practicing hygiene for your nervous system. Again, this is Steph, and please reach out to me in the comments here or on Instagram at Nidra Nerd with any thoughts or suggestions. I love creating these Nidras and I love hearing how they are integrated into your life. Yours in bliss always. Namaste.